Yeah, yeah the picture was there from the beginning. And if there is to there's no uh, <laughs> there's no need to be playing on the here. Yeah. The picture has always been there. The PPC system has this same chance of thinking that I check out the fight. For me, I keep saying there are only opportunities to have an employment. You have some uh, PTA staff who we are unemployed because of the Nigerian situation. They are good in their own, they, they, they meet the standard, but they are nobody to employ them. Only the division can employ them. And what they do, the PTA PTSC can't do that. So for me, uh, when the, the when the PTSC hierarchy in terms of the vice, Directors, vice principal, vice principal, vice principal, special duties. When they try to create that picture, I kill it. I kill that. I don't allow that to be to break. They're even there, they say, no. At management meeting, I sound it as clear as it could be that everybody here is working towards the same goal. Do not treat anybody because he's a PTA staff. Then you treat him as a second class teacher. I don't tolerate that. And I think the, the sole reason is for me because I went to the what, What's the sense if you are a mathematics teacher? If the government is not employing teachers and you don't employ a mathematics teacher, who is doing so well? What right have you to record that person second class natural? Just because it's not on that government bill. It doesn't make sense to me. So I believe that anybody who's trying to classify teachers based on PTA issues, uh, for me, in this circumstance, is not making the right judgment. I think the best thing is that everybody should have equal respect, equal regard. The only difference is only the structural difference of different in salary. <laughs> that, that is enough money for the BTS. I don't need to get that money in peace. <laughs> I don't need to get money of welfare and taking out my benefits in peace. You don't impose all that money on what the land they already have. So I think that's uh, for me. I think the land that's that we should, in this case now, both GPS and the BTS. What are the issues and challenges you face again and how are you going to deal with it? Okay, um, when I was being a manager, if you check uh, some of the PTSC staff, it took them time to really understand that this person is not the staff of this school. So, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be like, I wouldn't bore you thinking about those who are in but you come to a stage where you have sometimes the, the supervisors will be coming to the school. To give you a typical instance, you are in school and you are not aware that supervisors are missing this school. No. You see, you are still answering my name, but in the body, I think sometimes it's, it's, it's uh, funny because the only way for you to know the day supervisors may come is when you come to assembly. Because you will always be in the assembly. My dad always in the assembly, always there. So when you come to assembly and surprisingly, the teachers are well dressed and every teacher is there in the assembly, you'll be like, is anything happening here today? That's when you can get the grades. Someone will mention to you, so that's what's happening. That's when you can get it. Sometimes, you may not even know, only for you to drive in. So the cutoff is that maybe from, it's a uh, more systemic problem. Because it, because of the politics of autonomous school, even the those in government, uh, government agencies, PSSC, as well, the, some of them, some of them don't really wish to deal with the managers because they feel they are not our employee. They are not under us. And so when they come, they look only for a few cases. But I think that in this situation, this reality, you see, I know a number of meetings we have in cases in the zonal level, really iron it out. And they have seen the reason why we are coming to supervise a mission return school, in this case, mission school in partnership for they should reach out to both the principal and the manager, and when they come, they should be able to supervise both the PTA staff and the PTA staff. Because at the end of the day, the show is about the children. We want the children to be better. The children doesn't, the training of the children doesn't give you the description of I'm trained by a PTA staff, I'm trained by a PTA staff. And it's just I'm trained by a teacher. And that teacher could be PTA and PTA staff. And some of the PTA staff, I think in time, they came to understand the reality. The original sometimes it was difficult. I shared with you, let me share with you one particular situation. That was in, uh, I think, 2014. We had to do the promotion at the complete the promotion exercise of those going to the next classes. And the number of students failed. So the PPSC staff, the vice principal came with the principal and said that we are not going to fail the students. Because they said that they knew the policy that only a percentage can repeat, that you can repeat more than a percentage. 
And it was actually a to do the mathematics. So you mean you can only feel that five percent. When you think there's a colossal thing, the space are not space like this, I said no. That's about your policy. I doubt the, 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 the policy is there if it's written or if something that is written in a conventional way. But for me, it's about the future of the school and the students. And therefore, those who don't make it promotion will read it. So that others will see up. And people are like, they were like, oh, when you do this, the students will open the school. You know how to question it? I said, I am here. Let them meet. And then we begin from the one to build again. And I think surprisingly, when I kept to my work, myself, I used my own computer, tried everything, published names of the most best students, and those to repeat. And at the end of the day, we could not have up to a good number of parents. We saw that in the development and said, now nah, let us know that the school is serious. It made a sense. And even that was when a number of persons now began to sit down in the classroom to read. Some students began to take that in serious. Previously, it's just that whether you exam is not just a formality. And you can't build a society on such a platform. So sometimes there can be clash of policies and the clash of relationship, relationship conflicts. Because I'm not employed by DPSSC, therefore I don't have opinion over the DPSSC staff. We all saw those things, but with time, we feel that because we are consistent in the, in the charge that it is about the students and keeping to the policies that we know is good for them. Presently, I'm a student of leadership and management. And for me, the challenge from the staff we are more of how best to make sure that staff begin a moral. To, to instill a moral revolution in the members of the staff. So people can begin to see teaching as a vocation and not just um, a forced duty. You know, the two are not the same. In, regardless of the poor payment of salaries, we all know that things are not so well and motivated or demotivated. But the education to duty is a virtue that every teacher should have. So I had the challenges in that regard. Uh, sometimes you have teachers who, um, for which you best known to them, uh, we find it difficult to come to school in the meantime. Um, but we face the challenges head on. And I think in time uh, they knew it's not going to be business as usual. Uh, some of them, if there is something to be attached to, to force them to do the next we see to be that they need to We have the uh, challenges of uh, people who scramble for portfolios anyway. It's not part of human. People would like to work. As committee head, um, maybe, and it's not a committee chair of level. Maybe <laughs> yeah. committee chair of the kitchen or, 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 or canteen or something. These are human experiences that you can expect. There are always there. When I came, I saw the teachers as they are. You know, when women are climbing up, you may even not know your mom again. But depending on when she wakes up in the morning, the real face is there. So I think I saw some of the teachers in their very lecture. And uh, it's helped me because uh, I believe in management, observation is not that economic. And one of the things I do, a little, I spend time to do my research. So I made my family observations, and in the observations, you may not, I may not get it from your person, but if you get 70% a day of me, that's to be a teacher. So with that, I was able to appoint those ideal points in strategic positions, and uh, maybe. External observers may have their job members in my own job members. And thank God that I work with those persons that happen to them. I'm proud of what they do with them. That's part of the way I try to manage the experience. It was a result of dreaming your stay as a manager and end up in the ground school at the same time. You frequently visit our urban school or into special science school at the same time. We believe you were asking questions. We may encourage this practice as a way of collaboration to come among mission schools that are close to each other. Okay, thank you for the question. This is a good observation. I don't know who put up this, but whoever put up this made a very candid observation. Let me tell you, it was true that I played, uh, I, I would call it a little bit of I think at the point it was like I worked in college to go into the school as an assistant. When the school was returned to the mission, the 2013 Bell of the Pressure. I already enjoyed some partnership four years before. Loretto was returned in 2009 and to go by 2010 and then. And so there are already a man that the Bell of the Pressure and the who was doing so well in the school. And one of my strategy lines is to help those who do well. I don't have problem with anyone who is doing well. In fact, from my senior days, 
I had a friend of mine who wants to uh, first position in our first place. That should be our first opportunity. We are doing, we do um, what we may call share reading, you know, and I was surprised. Then the day it was an opportunity, I said, hey, how did this happen? He said he has observed that those who did so in our first year, we are not all that too extraordinary in our beyond. We all just want to say that. So you put extra time to study this and that. I said, okay. And I tell you, in our third year, um, I know what happened on the first group, so I, I also came up in the, in the lab that to say the exchange. But that is how I live my life. If, if anybody is doing something, I don't waste time asking. If I'm not there in this, I ask. Um, and when I ask, I learn. And when I ask, I ask what I can do. So um, I was going to a lot of what is wasn't just a lot. I was going to Rosal Mystic and then I began. Because we have also a good mind there who was selling or selling politics. But he's not a shape of uh, as well. Um, who was doing so well. And I go to Father Mind, I go to Father of Lamba, and I copy notes. Uh, but I must, let me also say this, when I assumed office in 2018, one of the things I did during the long vacation was to take time to visit many mission schools that are of uh, essence then, let me put it that way, that are doing good bells. So I visited St. Charles National, I visited CKC, on which I visited Pansy, uh, International College, okay. um, I was at CICA. I took my time to visit, and when I go, I, I tried to engage the administrator. So, when I did a few of these, I said I was saying like this. Even on how I was speaking, uh, so when I did this, I was picking up things and developing our own tactic to really incorporate what has worked in other places and see if such why it didn't work with us or why it can work better for us. So going to the level is uh, in continuation of uh, such a thing that I had. Uh, for me, if you think you know it all, good luck to you, but I don't know it all, and uh, I love to share ideas. And uh, luckily for me, Father Ida Rwanda that brought to where I visited more than any other place, um, you, you were exposed to share. In fact, at the point, the only students gave us some names, so that's what we are doing. And so on, and um, they made it taking here yeah, of the same class in Greece. We thought, no, it was a day, I think, 2004. That was a day too many. So, but the collaboration was fair to everybody. Even it's those tell even to the teachers. You can see the collaboration also made it that some of the teachers who work in the little room easily collaborate to those of us who were um, some of our teachers, just especially doing preparation of students for work and so forth. So we are comparing those and I think that within the short period of time, it was to become competitors. Originally, the little never had thought but not to be in their class, especially the students. But and that was in 2019. <laughs> but by, by 2015, 16, the Nafel Bernard is the place they can be, really engage in both in debate and be and so on. So, sure, I think you can so on. That's the background to that soft business. He himself, my mother, because he was visiting here, but he never knew what. That's why it's great. <laughs> but because I don't have, uh, you know, what the school was then, sometimes we'll be very good, you know, we have to find a car. Uh, so, but I don't know, the thing the, the, the is that there is collaboration. But what is the common denominator in all these things is that let the society be able to address the problem. If you succeed in the of and you don't succeed in the you society has no system. If you succeed in the and you don't succeed in the society, the society has no system. So, if, for, if you succeed in the and you don't succeed in the form, right? If, the society has no system. That's why you see sometimes when I was in the of I do visit. Schools that I know are struggling. They are not really, not all the schools are, I just said they are in mission schools. There was one school in other schools, they are not in the community of the world. So, at least I do go there, visit the place, and offer ideas, and even some more and just go encourage it the much we can. Because I believe that if they also rise to some level, the society comes better. So it's not just about my school, so that only my school will be on top or not. It's about it's about humanity in general. So let everybody have a good place. You don't know who becomes your in-law tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>